What's up YouTube? It's your girl Muhanji Audrey Musanga clocking in as per the usual. Guys, of late I've been liking this angle. I don't know, tell me your opinion. Should I? What should I do? So today we are going to do growing up in an African household. Damn, I've got stories. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, make sure you like and comment. All of you, make sure you click that post notification bell to be notified every time I post. Remember, we are on an exam marathon, so I'm doing videos back to back to back in order for you to get videos from April 25th to May 20th. So there was this one time I wanted to go for rugby. You know, like I was just fresh out of high school and I wanted to experience all of it. And there was a rugby tournament in our town. So I was like, I need to concoct a story. I need to, to, because there's no way, there's no way that my black mother is going to allow me out of the house at the wee hours of the night. And of the morning, I sleep somewhere else. I'm like, that was, there was no way. So what, I, what was I supposed to do? I had to involve the firstborn. His beloved child. I need to involve the firstborn. So what I did, I hit up Brian Canuti. I will link his socials down below. So I linked up Brian Canuti. I told him, bro, I, wanted, I want to go for a rugby. I want to go for a rugby tournament and I need you to talk to mom so that I can go for rugby. So my brother called my mom and told her that I, I, that she's taking me for rugby. Mind you, my brother is not, is not going for the tournament. It's not his scene. <laughs> so like he was trying, he what his plan was, he was to use my in-laws like my sisters my sister-in-law's sister for me to go for the tournament so he's like i'll go with her i prepared i went out so mind you i'm getting out at about 4 4 p.m so we met up we 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 party it was about 9 p.m where we we got off from the rugby tournament and went to the club. So, as I'm in the club, it's about like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. I am under 18. I am out in a club. <laughs> I'm out of my mother's house. And mind you, what is in my mother's mind right now is... She's supposed to go for rugby and she's supposed to come back home. She's not supposed to sleep outside. So she she called me and I couldn't pick because there was a lot of noise from the music and everything. So she called my brother and asked him if I was at his place. My brother's like, yeah. Mind you, I'm not even close to my brother. I'm like out clubbing with my sister-in-law and her friends. So, <laughs> my mom, she's like, there's something suspicious. Why is she not like, picking up her phone? So, she's like, give her the phone. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So, obviously, I wasn't there and I couldn't pick the phone. So, she, 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 she was told that I'm out, but I'm out with my sister-in-law. Hey, 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 hey. all hell broke loose my brother my mother was so furious so i clapped we went in we, we came back during the morning i slept and all that time my brother is telling me that shit has hit the fan <laughs> shit has hit the fan so what am i supposed to do so i carried myself home 
Mind you, I don't have any escort. I don't have any, anything. I just went home. When I reached home, my mother was cooking ugali. You know, ugali, you cook, you have a cooking stick. So, like, she's cooking ugali. She has, she already has a weapon in hand. Eh? So, she took she didn't even she didn't even talk to talk to me she took that we call it muiko that cooking stick she took it and hit me she was hitting me everywhere she 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 bit me up i started seeing stars and mind you it's it it has hot ugali on it i decided this is yani she 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 hit she <laughs> She beat me up for like around five minutes and I was like, it's, I, I'm feeling a lot of pain. So I ran away from home. So I ran and I found a, um, a place. Yeah, I found a place to stay at my neighbor's place. So I was like, like I called my homie because he's my friend. I was like, I need a place to stay. He's like, you can't stay here. Bro, I'm a boy. You can't stay here. So my brother made connections that I stay at his friend's house, who is like, she's a mother, she has kids, so I stayed at, at her place. Now my mother is starting, is starting to panic. She's like, Brian, have you seen Audrey? Like, she's run away from home. She has never done this. I, I need, I, we need to find her. So she's panicking because I've not slept in the house and she's she's now worried instead of being pissed. So my brother is trying to rile her up. She's like, I've not seen her. He's like, I've not seen her. Um but you you beat her, you, you you threw her you threw her away, you threw her out of the house. What did you expect? Now my mother is like, We need to find her, she's worried, she don't know where where I slept. Uh after Hearing like my mother was like worried, I came back home and we never, we never, <laughs> we never spoke of that again. Hmm. So there was this one time we had Christmas, but my mother was going home. I don't know what was with the occasion. Like she was going to my my father's my father's parents' place. So we were me and me and my brother called Al Al Legami Al Link his his socials me and my brother we are supposed to stay home it's my little brother we are like how many years apart we are like he was born in 2002 and i was born in 1998 so it's about like four four years four years apart so we were supposed to remain home and it's i'm straight out of high school so i'm like no i was in i think i was in first year uni so me and my brother were like, this is the opportune time for us to throw a party because we have never been alone for Christmas. So we are like, bro, we are like so sad. These guys are going. We are like, mm, it's, um, yeah. I wish we would have gone with you guys, but I'm, I'm not feeling like it is this Christmas. So we are like so sad. Even like my my sister in law decided to give us five hundred shillings. She decided to give us her financial shillings because she was like, you'll be lonely, you'll be in the house alone. So we are, we, we, we saw them off and then we decided, we decided that it was time. So what is the first place? We went for speakers. We, we sent out invites like at our place, we're going to have a party. So like everyone was RSVPing and we had speakers, so we set up the music system. We are home alone. <laughs> so everyone was invited. So everyone was invited in in like everyone was supposed to ask their parents for permission and tell them they are going to sleep over at our place. So everyone came, everyone came, everyone came, and those who do not they are not they are not restricted so much with their parents. They just came. They they didn't they didn't ask for permission, but it was okay because they usually do this. So you know there are those people who are like it's like they are not from African homes. So 
there's this one girl, her name was Stella. Stella decided, decided that it was the opportune time for her to tell her parents that she's going out for a while to be at our place and she's coming back to sleep in the house. She didn't tell them that she was going to sleep over. So as people were coming, it started getting wild. The party started getting wild and Stella was there. So people are like dancing, people have liquor, people have smokes, people are like all over the place. People like it wasn't even in the house, like people are outside, people are just chilling. So seven clock in, seven PM, eight clock in, nine clock in, ten clock in, eleven clock in. So the bash was going on. And people are from all over the place. People are, and people are like tipsy. People are drunk. So we've closed the gate. And there was this friend of mine. This wild friend of mine was called Derek. Derek was not from our place. But she, he's, he's gotten from town to our place. So he's not from the area. But we, we, have, we, are, mutual, we are mutual friends. Like we have mutual friends. So I knew Derek through our mutuals. So Derek, he has a knock on the gate and he decided to peep. <laughs> so he decided to peep and what he saw was, you know, a fatherly figure, some old guy on the gate. So Derek with liquor, it clocks that my father is at home. So Derek is like, but, but like, Audrey's father is at home. So everyone is in panic. Everyone decided, like, people are falling like bees. Like, everyone decided to to jump the fence. So people are, were all over. And you know now that this alerted that man that there was something wrong happening there. So what does this guy do? This guy calls my parents and tells them, bro, there's something happening in your house. People are, are, are jumping fences. I've come to pick my daughter Stella because she didn't tell me it was a sleepover. She, she, so I've come to pick her up. So people are running away from the house. So this guy, so I'm like, so there, there's some friends of mine who just were chill. They just remain in their living room. So this guy, I opened, for, I opened the gate for him. So he comes in. He's like, bro, what were you guys doing? I'm like, we weren't doing anything. But if you weren't doing anything, why are people falling like bees? <laughs> why, are people, why are people going away? Me, I was like, bro, if it wasn't for Derek telling everyone, like, bro, my, 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 my father is in the house, we'll have contained the situation. We'll, we'll have just chill. And he wouldn't have known anything that was up. He would have just picked his daughter and gone. But now my parents know, and this girl hadn't hadn't asked for permission to be at our place at the wee hours of the of the morning or during the night. So what do we do? We decided to to chill. We slept over with the, the friends that came, and then we waited for our parents in the morning. <laughs> and you know what we did? We took the mattresses from our bedroom we slept at the living room you get because we were like we can't sleep and i was i was scared i don't like sleeping alone so i was like i told my brother let's sleep in the living room my mother that was the first thing that she saw bro why why are you guys in the living room like this this isn't this isn't the bedroom what are you guys doing that was and i was like bro chill there's nothing there's nothing for you to be mad about and that was my mistake that was my that yani that made her a furnace she was so angry <laughs> so and my brother is like my you know my brother like he's like we are betrayed him like uh, my first our uh, firstborn now he, he was making things worse because now he's the beloved child and they had gone my brother, my father, my mother, and my brother's girlfriend. Now, it is about that time. We are told everyone, go and go and pick your, the weapon that I'll use against you. <laughs> now we are going picking 
taking branches from trees and we were like this won't hurt as much and do you know my my little brother went and picked a road like it wasn't even as thick a road like it was so thick and me i went and picked something so thin and so small you get like because i i want like i'm gauging which one is less painful than the other this guy made us be beaten by that road because my mother was like i can't i can't beat you up with this now it was like my, my mother was doing rounds and my father was doing rounds so like my, my mother was hitting me as my father was hitting my brother then they exchange and they are just telling like have you had a lecture while you are being hit so lecture hit lecture hit my brother was scr screaming <laughs> and like we, hey, it was like oh it was it was so bad like i was like if i see that girl stella again never will i invite her for any shit because what so another occasion my brother my, my my father is so strict my father is like he's always strict strict but his face tells you off like he's not an he doesn't have a face where you can approach him you get his like start and he's always serious so when i had my first boyfriend like i didn't allow that guy to hug me to kiss me every near anywhere near the house because i was like if my parents knew that i'm engaging in such behavior if anyone you know my our village is that place where if you do shit like if you if you if you engage in anything my mother will get wind of that information because like people are snitches in that village is like you can't do shit because even if you hold hands with a boy that information will reach my mother even if you do anything like it's it's a village where everyone knows everyone so like you can't do anything without any anyone knowing and if anyone knows my mother knows you get my coffee was at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. during the day where the sun is out so bright that was my curfew and you couldn't sleep during the day you had to be busy act busy because like it will set people off if you if you if you take a nap if you are if you act relaxed you you had to be on your toes during the day like every every single time you have to be on your toes like <laughs> it was so crazy and like i like to tell you more stories about my african household if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe let's meet friday 9 am east african time